name's Brian Garrett, and on 9-11, I was assigned to the Utah Olympic Public Safety Command as part of the Fire and Emergency Medical Services team. And that morning, on the way to the office, I received a call from one of my coworkers that a plane had just hit one of the Twin Towers in New York City, and my immediate thought was a Cessna had hit it, and little did I know the horror that we would see that day. It's about two blocks from the office, so I drove in the office and walked into uh, the brand new Olympic Public Safety Command Center where all of the public safety operations were going to be run out of the for the Olympics. We had a big video board with probably 10 or 12 big screen TVs showing every channel of what was going on. And of course, the, the, uh, the, the timing of it all, we watched the second plane go into the second tower. And I just remember in that moment, um, especially when the towers came down, just how our world would change and how it would affect everything that we do in our world, but specifically the Olympics and all of the work we'd done the previous three years for the Olympics. And, you know, it certainly did change. The security measures heightened. We had a lot more resources, but I think as a country to continue to be that unifier, to continue to be um, that, that pillar to bring the country together. And for me, it was interesting on opening ceremonies, the emotion of watching the New York City police and firefighters bring that tattered flag into the room uh, from the top of the World Trade Center, into the stadium from the World Trade Center, and how much that moment meant not only to us as Americans, but to the world that statement of our resiliency and the fact that we would never forget our fellow Americans that we lost that day. I think on a more personal note for me, I remember going home that night and pretty angrily um, putting my flag up on the front of my house and the bracket on the front of my house and I left it there for a long time. But I wasn't the only one. The flags popped up all over the neighborhood and I think that that patriotism, the flags being folded or flown and the symbols of unity of those flags being flown really helped bring our country together and begin that healing process to remind us we're all Americans. And even though we didn't, we all may not necessarily know people that were on those airplanes or in those buildings, but it still affected all of us. Thank you.